<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Three Man Abroad in and around our home this time around, going for a cooking challenge. And the concept is very, very simple, okay? We're gonna cook in from our own homes, but the catch is we're gonna cook something from our own culture, all right? So from mine, it'll be a Sri Lankan dish, from Mo, it'll be a Portuguese dish, and from Shaq, it'll be a very exciting Mauritian dish, all right? But just before we get into that, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, smash that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. And without further ado, you know what time it is, let's go. I've done this take a hundred times. Run it up, big man, run it up! I'm perfectly happy. This time we're in Athens, Greece. And you will get a view like no one. This is one of my favorite things. Here we are. Shag's natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge representing my own country. I've got to go hard or go yard, even though I'm at yard. Anyway, so I've gone for a traditional Sri Lankan slash Indian dish called chicken biryani, or in English, chicken biryani. <laughs> chicken biryani. And I've gone through a vast variety of herbs, spices, and of course, our star dish, the chicken. Okay, so going from left to right, I've got some yellow powder in my mum's cute little blue flowery pot. All right, called turmeric. That's going to give the coloring for the rice. All right, this, for anyone that's in a Sri Lankan household, Surya curry powder, not sponsored obviously. This just makes everything taste 10 times better with red chili, coriander, cute, basically all these ingredients I've just bought for no particular reason. But this is gonna be very, very vast, very powerful. This, wait, hold on. This, between me and you, I just found it in one month of fridge and I thought it just tastes nice. I don't know what it is, it's just some leaves and then half an onion i don't know where the other half went we've got two lemons and now the other star of the show come forward a bit more closer so i can actually show you the ridiculousness of what i've just done okay so i've bought garlic paste i've bought ginger paste and i've bought garlic and ginger paste and if that's not enough i've bought a, is this a clove or a garlic or i think it's a garlic no but there's a there's a word for that isn't it it's like, it's not, it's not, you don't say just a garlic and you don't say a piece of garlic, you say, is it a clove of garlic or a clove of ginger? You're asking a wrong person. This is not even garlic, this is ginger. <laughs> I studied herbal medicine, could you imagine? <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving on. I've got Greek yogurt. In terms of chicken, I've bought a kilo and a half of chicken. As soon as I told people I'm doing, you know, a quote unquote a food challenge, everyone wants to try some chicken anyway. So that's that. Coriander is going to come into play to spice up the, you know, the dish itself you know, some traditional basmati rice. And if you're ever a kid and you see this packet, all you want to do is just that. <laughs> non -stop. I've done it like ages. Anyway, so that's that. We've got some chili in there because I know Mo loves spices. Um, so half a lime? Do we need lime if we've got lemon? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, that's Mo's side. And a Rio because why not? Now what makes this interesting is we're both really at cooking, so I don't know how to cut an onion, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Uh, I should have YouTube how to do this before. Uh, okay. All right. Um, you know. All right. Here we go. Cool. Composure is key. All right. Five minutes later. Yes, I know it's got skin on it, but it increases the taste, I guess. Alright. Cool. And that's done. Alright. Give it back to me. Alright. Alright, it's not it's not like a blue Peter situation one. I'm just gonna pull out a chicken biryani and be like, this is what I did from before. It's a one take shot. So alright, so you wanna get the, the pan on a, a high heat, I believe. Alright. And then get, I think, six tablespoons of olive oil, all right? Um, olive oil, sunflower oil, Jesus. I'm not crying. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right. Okay, so you wanna make sure. Perfect. All right, so once that's done, you wanna get the onions in there. 
and ideally kind of fry it to make sure it turns light slash crispy brown, okay? This is gonna give you the, the give the chicken the, the entire flavoring, okay? Oh shit! It's volleyball, my guy. Bro, the way you just spit it out at the, at the camera. I thought, I thought the olive oil was just going to f*** like everything. <laughs> right. uh, get yourself a wooden spatula, mix it around. So I've got it on seven right now, let's mix it up for a bit. That is going to give, look at that. So 10 to 12 minutes, I've got it to a high heat, okay? I'm gonna put it in, I've got half an onion in there right now. I'm gonna put another half in there. Right, let's try a different technique this time. So we've got it in half. All right, so I'm gonna go put it flat like this. It says, so Gordon Ramsay says, why is it all your fur? Because you're really tall. <laughs> so three, three fingers and not, no, right. I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, okay. Did you know, yeah, this hole, do you know the use for this hole? Yeah, it's to put all the, um, it's to put all the, uh, when you, <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Might so, know so when you're cutting stuff, that's there to like, yeah, yeah. to put it, yeah. Little, little hack for the day as opposed to what normally people do it's a, it's they a hold turn. the handle and yeah. then they, they just pour it from the bottom all right uh, okay the onions are coming up together nicely actually uh, you see some of them are bold and stuff Uh, it says 12 minutes, but it's looking pretty good as it is. Is that why you have a watch in your hand? Yeah. So you heard it, all right. So once we've done with that, once we've got the onions kind of light brown, get the paste in there, turn the heat down, all right. And then we're going to turn it back up when we put the meat in there. Um, and that's it. So Shaq, back over to you. Let's see how you're getting on. Chef Shaq is officially in the building okay <laughs> so what i'm going to be doing for you guys today is a food which is very dear to my heart it's uh the staple food from where i'm from and it's called ladu pul okay so for all those of you that don't know i'm from mauritius my parents are from mauritius okay and they migrated to london and in mauritius this is one of the most traditional staple foods you can get okay now shout out to all my independent mauritian people who as a country we have been independent for 53 years now since 1968 but prior to that when we were colonized by the french okay french migrants would bring this uh, stew type dish into mauritius and since then it has adapted and evolved into this more eloquent style stew slash curry uh, with the addition of chicken okay where this is where you get the name lado pul lado meaning stew or curry and pul meaning chicken okay so i'm gonna show you how to make this and i'm pretty excited because i've never personally made it myself i've always relied on my wonderful mother to make it for me and she's been making it for me since i even had teeth okay since i was a baby so it'd be nice to pay homage to my mom and to all you mauritians out there Okay, so guys, I've actually got to show you what we're gonna be cooking with, because we're not cooking with air, and it takes quite a bit of prep to actually get this done, okay? So let me show you what ingredients we've got. So here are all the ingredients which are enough to make about four plates of food. But if you're me, <laughs> you may need uh, a lot more to make up four plates, okay? Uh, but let's start with the chicken. All right, so we've got baby chicken, um, uh, skin off, cut into about eight pieces we've never really used chicken breasts uh, the food tastes a lot nicer with bone chicken because obviously the juices flow um, next up we've got about uh, four to five uh, white potatoes depending on size 
okay um then we've got one whole onion which will uh cut off into uh, will dice into pieces um then we've got one chopped uh tomato okay oof nearly said <laughs> potato there um one chopped um one pan of chopped tomatoes now we move on to our spices and herbs so we've got um two cinnamon sticks five cloves and we've got some ground cardamom okay now i always say to mom we need to use ground cardamom you can use a whole cardamom the reason why i use ground cardamom is because you're, you're a sucker like me okay i always am the unluckiest guy and i always get a whole cardamom in my food that one whole cardamom always ends up in my plate okay now on top of that we've got about this much time okay no pun intended <laughs> and we've got this much coriander okay i would say that's about a palmful <laughs> all right um we've got some sunflower oil and lucky for me every mauritian household has this which is garlic and ginger paste okay now it's just kind of a thing it's like it's like how asians have ice cream boxes filled with rice and curry in the fridge this is the same thing for a mauritian household so if you don't have this you're gonna have to crush it um and mix it up and make it yourself okay and finally we have some green peas garden peas whatever you want to call it uh one can of those is enough you know the little cans that they come in which are normally half the the size of what a, you'd get for a tomato can um but yeah <laughs> so this is what we got we've got one whole onion all right now i'm not much of a chef but we'll get this done as best as we can okay So guys, as you saw, ingredients cut, chopped, diced, can open, poured, ready to go in our pan. Okay, so Mina, I know the the high heat temperature. I'm just gonna turn the hob on, <laughs> and we're just gonna get cooking. Okay, uh, you know, let, let's call it let's call it medium to medium to high heat. Okay, first things first, we've got to pour our sunflower oil. We're looking about, I'd say that's about three three tablespoons worth of uh, sunflower oil. We're gonna pour that in, okay, sizzling. Okay, we're just kind of trying to get the oil hot. Okay, now we're gonna add our cut chopped onions. Oh, don't you just love that sizzle? Sizzle. Right. Now, my trusty spoon. Now the aim of the onions is you don't want to cook them. You want it to have it, you want it to have this kind of light brown um, color before we add anything else. Okay, so this will probably take a few minutes. Um, so in the meantime, let's see what the boys are saying. Right everyone, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be making today. It's a Portuguese dish called Bacalao dos Tudos. I don't know if I said it right, but mum, forgive me, please. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Bacalao itself is a dried fish, a dried salted fish. But I don't have that because that's a specific fish and I, I woke up late. So I didn't have time to get with this ingredient. So instead of Bacalao, we got cod fillets. So this will be our main fish that we're gonna be eating. As well as that, we're just gonna have some boiled potatoes, boiled vegetables, and it's gonna be a really nice dish. Not too much exotic like shacks and vise, but it's, it's a traditional Portuguese dish and everybody has it either around Christmas time or just throughout the year. So just to spice it up, I bought some chips because I, I like chips, but moving on to Vai, let's see what he's gonna make. Wait, hold on, you bought cod and chips. Isn't that basically fish and chips, bro? No, but there's, there's vegetables as well. Just because you say no, 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 no. Just because you say in Portuguese doesn't mean it's no, it doesn't matter. Chips, the, the chips is just for me because <laughs> I like chips, and you did say get chips. Yeah, but yeah true. That. Again, like without the chips, yeah. this is mainly <laughs> this is mainly what it is: is boiled vegetables, cod, uh, olive oil. I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like afterwards. Get some soap in that, you know. Okay. Give your hands a good old rub. 
No, Ainsley. <laughs> Give your meat a good old rub. Cooking up some spice. All right, cool. So let me open this up. If I can open this up. Don't, yeah, don't this do this is, at home. This, this is how you're supposed to do it, apparently. Yeah, don't do this at home. All right, nice and easy. Cool, now, uh, let me just get you guys in frame here. So, I'm gonna slap that cod right there. Nice and easy. No, no, you can fry it, but me and pots and oils and stuff, I don't do very well, so. I'm used to sticking it in the oven, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it is it on the oven? Uh, I don't know if it's on, but we're, we're gonna make sure that's turned on in just a moment. It is what? Well, yeah, it's the one on the left. Yeah, it's, it's yep. up, meaning it's on. Okay, there it is. So I don't know. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Same, fine. Undo that. Yeah. Come in. Look at this. Three, e one. <laughs> And the crowd guy goes, select! <laughs> <laughs> so let's set this up for, yeah, let's put 20 minutes. Yeah, this yeah. is a very old school little oven. Okay, yeah. so while that is, I don't, know, I don't know the word, frying, not frying, cooking? Cooking, there you go. Cooking. Uh, we'll, we'll put the chips in the oven as well. Uh, so let's, uh, oops. Yes. Very good. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how do I operate this? All right. So you see the the bottom left? Yeah. yeah. Pull that out. Pull it out. Yeah. Okay. Just stick the chips in there. No, 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 no. Just leave it in there. Oh. And now put the chips in there. All right. We got me. Oh wait, no, we got other boys and stuff. Fair enough. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Halfway through already. Good yeah, progress. Good progress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I mean, this is something very quick you can make. So soon after a long day of work, you know, you want to come home and you find out there's nothing, you know, there's nothing to eat. So you say, all right, what can I do in 15, 20 minutes? Here you go. You get some chips, you get some. Bro, this took two and a half minutes. You put the cod in the oven and then you put the chips in the other thing. Yeah, that's it. Right. All right then. So that is. In All right. There. So then uh, press on. All right. See where the fries is. Air fry. Air uh, fries. The fries. Yeah. And then stop. Um. How long is it? Does it do it automatically? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Preheat. Oh. oh it's preheating. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. And we are backwards by. Yeah. Update, I've cut another, another onion, I just don't feel like it's enough. Stick some olive oil in there, f Do you mind? One tip, yeah? What? Can you stop swearing? <laughs> One tip. Jesus. <laughs> One tip is figure, out, is figure out how many onions you want to cut in. And then just decide on that. Don't just do what I'm doing, which is deciding like another onion is just about enough and then realizing it's not enough and then cut another onion and be like, yeah, that's enough. And then realizing that's not enough, so cut, put some more olive oil and start swearing at the camera, which is what apparently I do now. A lot of it as well. Yeah. All right. This is the kitchen. Yeah. My inner cord of Ramsey comes out. It's <laughs> rule. All right, cool. All right. That's gonna sim up for about another, uh, no, that's a lie. That's not simmering. That is that's cooking. Um, that's cooking in oil, which is <laughs> making right. him cry. Okay, making me cry. Ah. Mm. All right. I'm not too sure if this is. Uh, come here. I'll show you. If this is how it's meant to look. I've got certain ones that look black. Certain ones that look brown. Some look in yellow. Basically, Fifty Shades of Brown coming up in here. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Fifty Shades of what now? Brown. Anyway. Are you part of that one shade? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright. So you need to put, the reason why I'm putting so much oil, because then after this I'm going to also put the chicken in as well. Okay? So just keep in mind it has enough oil in there to cook the chicken. 
Um, but I'm going to leave it in there for another, I'd say, two minutes. It's fine. Um, the only reason it's looking like this is simply because I've, after I've cut one onion, I've cut it, another onion, put it in there, so the consistency is really whack. Uh, if, you, if you have garlic paste um, and ginger paste, put them both, but if you have it two in one, it doesn't make a difference. Or, if you're one of them kitchen fanatics to be like, I want everything to be fresh there and make a you know, paste out of that. So, once that's done, we want to add, hold on, what does it say, garlic? Uh, I hate recipes that expect you to know how much of this you need to put in. It says add paste. You want to add like one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Yeah, probably. All right, so I'm going to turn it down a bit lower. So I'm going from, I'd say eight to two. And all right, I'm using all of this chicken. All right, that's what you got to remember. So I'm going to put, put about two and a half, I'd say. I think that would work. Fresh. Uh, Alright, <laughs> now that's done. Uh, cool. So, is that a tablespoon or a teaspoon? Okay, one tablespoon. Why did you just throw it like that? I don't know whether this is too much or not, but... I believe that... You know what, come here, smell it. It's actually amazing. It smells so good. I'm sure they can't smell it, but yeah. But well, you can smell it, can't I you? I can smell it, yeah, but All they right, can't. Alright, then be a testimonial then. It smells nice. It smells nice, there we go. Alright, so... I'm going to mix that in together. Low heat, alright, number two. Mix it in with the onions. Oh, you are in for a treat, bro. Honestly, <laughs> is, I sure hope so. This is smelling naughty, bro. Uh, uh, all right. So get that mixed in together. Look, have a look at this. All right. So mixing in with the olive oil, mixing in with the onions, giving it a nice kind of, kind of paste consistency. And in, in a minute, that's gonna kind of render with the the, the whole chicken, the drumsticks, the um, uh, the chicken breast as well. Okay, this has been washed from before, so don't add me for that. Um, and yes, okay, there's many, many ways to make a chicken biryani, okay? But the right way to make a chicken biryani is all of this and a bowl egg. If you do not serve a chicken biryani with a bold egg, then then screw you in it. Because I can't think of anything more because I'm so emotional from the onions. So, Bit annoying. We thought it was filming. It turns out it wasn't filming. Okay. So if you uh, just uh, bring a camera here, I'll show you what we've got. So we put our chicken in. But before we put our chicken in, remember when I told you we needed the onions to be slightly brown. So after that, we added in our spices. So our cloves, our ground cardamom, and our cinnamon sticks. And we also added in a liberal tablespoon of the um garlic paste okay and then what we did is we mixed that up a little bit then we added in our chicken and we're trying to coat the chicken with this um the onions and the spice and the smell is amazing okay and we're trying to get make sure that it's in everywhere now to mention we, i left the onions cooking for about five minutes okay why is it not turning okay And also, we need to add a bit of salt. So I already added a bit of salt. I think about two teaspoons is enough. Okay. Obviously, got to think of blood pressure. All right, so I've let it cook now for a few minutes. I'm gonna put the, the lid on and I'm gonna let it simmer for a few minutes and I'm also going to lower the heat okay while it's simmering cool time to turn the heat up I'm going to add a little more 
because the next step is going to be adding the chicken. Okay, this is going to mix. Oh yes, beauty. That's going to mix with this lovely, lovely mixture. Uh, mixture. Uh, put the fan on. That's correct. All right. He's just going to dunk the whole thing. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? I, I don't know, you're not asking the right person. Wait a minute, have you cooked a chicken biryani? I thought not. No. Uh, have you cooked the chicken No, I can't, I can't do that. Exactly. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do... For all of those reading in the comments, yeah, it's our first time, so <laughs> please, please don't roast us. Oh, yes, that was meant to happen. about you? That looks like a lot of chicken. Yeah, I know, but yeah, that's good. Cool. As comes to worst, I've cooked for the entire week an everyday chicken biryani, which honestly I don't actually mind. Because the, the little packet of rice doesn't look like it would. <laughs> Where is the packet? Oh yeah, don't. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna have half a plate of chicken. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and another half all in just bubble well, rice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm, we'll see how it turns out, to be honest with you, because... Um, I love chicken so much, she wants half the plate <laughs> of chicken. Yeah, what comes to worst, I've got a whole bunch of chicken cooked, I just need to cook some more rice afterwards. Um, mm. Alright, so we're gonna turn up the heat to the max. Alright, and now stir everything off. So right from the bottom, like, if you put all the chicken in there in one go, and you don't stir it back up, it's not gonna mix together very well. So get the wooden spoon, come closer. What is it then? It's a pot. <laughs> Sophistication coming there from work. <laughs> Alright. Someone's got a critique. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pot, Jeffrey. It's a pan. <laughs> Look at this pan again making this mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I've let the chicken uh, simmer on low heat for about five minutes now. Okay. So what we're going to do is, as I said before, we're going to add our tomatoes in now, uh, our thyme, and some dry herbs. I didn't mention this, but it's a little tip that mum gave me. Shout out to mum. Adding some dry herbs in as well. Okay? So let's do that. Give it a stir just to coat all the chicken in this tomato sauce. Mate, I'm the worst stirrer in the world. Core blimey. Okay. We add the thyme. Okay, bit all over. We're gonna add some dry powder. Oh, but it's on the other side. Oh. Thanks, Mom. I knew that. Yeah, I see. And then we're gonna just uh, turn that. And let it cook for 15 minutes. Well, you heard that, right? <laughs> so yeah, as Mama said, I'm no longer cooking. <laughs> she says 15 minutes, so 15 minutes it is. <laughs> Let's check on the boys. <laughs> Next stage, I told you, the curry powder comes in clutch, all right? So it's got a variety of herbs in there. I'm gonna put, for a 1.5 kilos of chicken, probably, I've got a teaspoon in here, uh, probably about four teaspoons. I think that should be heat, like this, like that. Yeah? And the spread. It's That's not a protein there. shake. For it's, yeah, it's definitely not gonna be, f yeah, hold on. One, two, Three. Uh, three and a half. Yeah. If your mouth is dying afterwards, you know why. Alright? <laughs> I literally just mix that back in there. Come in, have a look. Alright, so that's the powder. We're gonna mix that nice in there, get that nice colour on there as well, alright? 
Perfect. Still on a high heat, of course. Still cooking. That's getting that masala. Oh, yes. So, what did I say here? Alright. Yeah. You know, for a cooking video, we should at least have some heat from some hats and Oh, we should have had that, innit? Yeah, yeah that's fair, that's what it is. I love the shack is the only one with an apron. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, look at that. That is coming out really nice. Perfect. Touch wood, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. Mm. Like, I, yeah. I thought I'd burn the chicken from the day got, but... Well, let's not jinx anything as of yet. Yeah, touch wood. Touch wood. That, that, that's marble. That's marble. <laughs> There's no wood here. <laughs> that? Bro, you're, you, you were touching wood the whole time. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> touch wood. Uh, Holding wood. Mate, that is coming out really well, though. Alright, so what about next? So after that, uh, I did a yeah, my special water. Medium heat? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so once you put the, the curry <laughs> the curry bar in the video properly, turn it down to about five. Or, you know, if you're using a traditional one, a medium, um, and then cook for about three minutes, and then we're gonna add a splash of water after that as well, okay? Okay, splash of water. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just splash? Forget salt, man. You got yourself a water, man. <laughs> <bay. laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I think. Uh... Water. That's good. Uh, so the main thing, the reason why you may not have seen me adding salt into it, the curry powder already has salt in it, so there's absolutely no point for you to do it. All right, that's the key thing. Uh, uh, ooh, tomatoes. You know what? Tomatoes in a biryani. Uh, I don't sound right. Yeah, I mean it's it's. I, I don't know. I'm gonna follow it anyway. I'm not gonna put too much in there. I'm just gonna put like three or so. Um, and then from there. So it's literally just cut it into small pieces, I'm assuming. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's gonna smash up. Right. Okay. Cut it in half and then stick it back in there. So needle point down. Come on, folks. Like that. Are you sure you're cooking biryani and not something else? I don't know. Did you check the title from your page? Yeah, hey, it was an Indian chick that said it, so... All good. Alright. Uh, okay. Was, was cool. she Sri Lankan? Or? I think I'm not too sure, Alright, again. Put it back in there, mix. Alright. I'm going to turn it down to about four. Just to let it simmer. Okay? Make sure it's on the heat. <laughs> First of all. So, we're going to... Put a lid on it. Just leave it, but leave leave a bit of space in it. Let it allow that to cook. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is are you gonna make the rice you, as well? Usually, you, yeah, we're gonna do that as well. Uh, usually, you'll have a bowl for this, but obviously, three men abroad never prepared. Um, we're gonna mix, whisk some of the yogurt. Okay, so we're gonna put about let's have a look. Open it. <laughs> this, is, this is the first panel. Don't you come around. <laughs> uh, uh, let's watch this video first. Uh, okay, and then. opened it in a natural manner apart from oh there we go finally opens <laughs> alright what's your profanity it's like Cleveland I don't know 
I'm gonna put, so as, like I said, it's a 1.5 kilo, so it needs quite a bit of yogurt, right? So I'm gonna put one and two, two of it. Why not? All right, so that's done. Again, th these are the, you know, when I, when I say two, three tablespoons, it's up to you. You know, if you wanna mess around with it, if you like a bit more chilies, um, then add more chilies. You know, it's down to you. Um, you know, um, one person actually served uh, biryani with milk. This is to kind of cancel out the, the spiciness. Did you know that? I didn't know this. Yeah. It's actually really interesting. Alright, okay. Could they handle spice? So, we've got that in there. Yeah. Let's mix it. You can mix that, okay? Yeah, it's making sure that the pan is on a low to medium. Let's get a nice little, look at that. Yeah, liquid consistency, yeah? Good. Mix it a little bit more. Check on our little beauty. Come in, come here. If, just, just smell it, just smell that. That doesn't create an orgasm, I don't know what we're Whoa, 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 hold on, we're cooking. Wait, what? Wait, what? <sighs> yes, this is my happy place right here. Okay, we're gonna leave there for another two minutes. I'm just gonna keep whisking it. I'm actually surprised. Uh, I'm actually surprised. At what? You haven't broken anything, you haven't gone on a full rampage. Touch wood. <laughs> Because I know how impatient you are. All right, so now let's put the yogurt in there. All right. Are you making a cake? A chicken biryani <laughs> cake? Chicken cake. <laughs> uh, I think what this does, it kind of gives you the um, the cooling element as well, which is right with the spice, kind of like a yin yang concept. Deep. Yeah, but the spice comes to cool. Alright. Let's mix that all in together. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up slightly. I'll put it on four, now I'm on six, okay? So we are getting there. Alright? Come have a look at this. We're gonna get all of that nice yogurt in there. Mixed. Oi, beautiful. This is looking nice. That mix. Perfect. Couple more around. Oh, yes. All right. Get that right in there. Get that cool. All right, what's next? Uh, let's have a look. So, we've got the yogurt that's done, it's tomatoes that's done yogurt that's done uh coriander okay next let's get the coriander and then let's get it in this because why not yeah uh all the shots no it's not all right get some coriander in there all right don't forget to wash your vegetables all right so Get about half in there. Yeah. Half of the mint as well. That's chilies. Where's the mint? Um, did you even buy mints? Where did buy mints in there? I don't remember. Coriander. Mint. Oh. Alright. Uh, yeah. See? Smell that. Fresh. Yeah, buddy. Alright. Half of that and half of that lovely mint, okay? So, you should just peel it off. Get the stalks out. Mix it together. Alright, so we've got that. I'm gonna save that for later. 
I'm going to keep it in the fridge to keep it fresh um, because that is uh, going to be going on the, the rice that it is on. So, got it in here, let's wash that. Cold water, of course. Okay. Alright, turn it. If you've got a sieve at home, then use that because this is not the official technique. But we do it anyway. But we do it anyway, we move. Alright. That's how I make my salads. Is it? I drain it like that. Alright, cool. Now I've got that. Add some of that in there as well. Perfect. This is going to give that nice colour, nice kind of finishing touch to it. Spray it out all of it. Alright. Cool. So once we've done that, again, same thing again. Mix it. All right, so starting from the bottom. Come now on. we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> oh, Wait, we can't be singing. Yeah, exactly. Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> YouTube, hella sensitive. <laughs> All right. All right, so I've got that nice. Yeah. Beautiful, look at that. It's looking really good. Oh, yeah, so far so good, right? Good. Uh, and cool. And perfect, perfect. Bon. Fish, fish, fish. Yeah. So we've got that coriander, cook on low heat. On low heat until the oil separates. I'm going to cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right. So whilst I'm doing that. Let's get most started on his dish. So, what we are going to do is, take what we're going to do, we are going to boil our vegetables, but first thing first, we are going to wash them. I think you're supposed to wash them, but I ain't taking no risks. Wash them anyway. Corona's not going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I don't want to rip the the packaging because all the instructions are right. <laughs> so let me just shove it all in there. Now it is. Normally when we eat this in Portugal we have a lot more bigger um, potatoes but I I ate, I kind of ate before I came here, so I don't want to have too much. Screw it, why not? So, yeah. for me as well. so, you want some potatoes yeah. as well? Screw it, I'll just put the whole bag in there. I don't know if it'll be enough to cook all the, the broccoli, the uh, the carrots, and the potatoes. So, I'll cut this one in half because I think it did say cut the. Um, what's it do? Cut the big potatoes in half. Right knife to use for cutting potatoes. All right, time to rinse it out. Get that in there. You know what? For your first time cooking, yeah, your IQ is not bad. I must say. I thought you were gonna burn the potatoes. Well, let's not jinx it yet. <laughs> Again, first time doing something, but yeah. But like Vi says, confidence is key. There we go. We've got to have confidence. All right. So the potatoes are now. What? Hello. Rinse that one out. Now, some people they prefer to um, what's it called? Um, peel all the skin off and stuff. But uh, how we do it in Madeira is we uh, keep the skin on. And as soon as we finish and the potatoes are all ready, we'll just cut them in half. And yeah, you can mix it up, put a bit of tuna in there, or you know, make a little jacket potato while you're at it. So yeah. I don't know what Oh uh, oh oh hold on. Add food. What's the need to add food? Oh. Uh, so I just just yeah, pull it out and just yeah, push it back in. 14, there you go. 15 minutes. Perfect. Okay. So while these two are doing their thing. Doing my thing! <laughs> <laughs> I can open up these damn carrots. 
Okay, I'll tell you why I, I decided I don't like cooking. So one time I was slicing carrots <laughs> and while I was cutting it, or what's it called? Yeah, while I was cutting it, I cut a bit of my middle finger. So it was just the skin, just a little bit. Um, and then after that day, I got pissed off. I said, I'm never cooking again. <laughs> Three years later, I'm here and I'm making, and I'm, I'm back with, you know. Well, 50% is just oven and the other oven. Well, that's not the case, but it's just, <laughs> it was cutting the carrots. It's never the damn potatoes, it's just the carrots. Nah, no, true. So, we'll, we'll wash that, what, three? Enough. Sorry, mum, for the profanity, but yeah, I, I'm trying that here. Um, and then there's the broccoli. I really don't think I'm supposed to be putting broccoli, carrots and potatoes all in one, but um, yeah, what? We're a bit backwards. <laughs> Optimization. <laughs> okay. Engineer. Uh, engineer, yeah. <laughs> Not even engineer. <laughs> Chef. Chef. <laughs> With an S. <laughs> Chef. Strength. Obviously, this is an easy workout. <laughs> Anybody could do it. <laughs> One rep. <laughs> All of this is one <laughs> room. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. Turn up. Try and mix this as well. Where's your spoon? Oh, here it is. Okay. So, do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, add. Add another three or uh, three teaspoon tablespoons of. No, there's a spoon in there. Okay. Every Tamil household you go into, there's, there's always a spoon. a spoon in there. Don't watch that. Right? Yeah. There you go. Uh, smack about, I think. Yeah, keep going. Add it. So I'm cooking rice food and my food at the same time. So... What, do you want a blue beetle badge? Yes. <laughs> Please. Alright, stop. And then just mix it. Cut it, I whip it, I flip it, flip it! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, bring the bottom all the way up to the top. Ow! I hate about cooking. I should wear long sleeves. Juice. Long, long sleeves? Yeah. yeah. But even then, when you wear long sleeves, people naturally just, you know, pull it up. Yeah. So, So that is all coming up together. A lot of drumstick pieces. Just a whole pot of chicken. Yeah, man. I mean, I've never seen this before in my life. Yeah, chicken Not curry. Not this much like, to the extent, anyway. So. Yeah, because I'm cooking for me, you, Shaq, um, family want it. Basically, yeah. You know. Fair enough. A few of our subscribers actually want it as well. So. Shout out to the subscribers. <laughs> Leave a hundred likes for this video and we'll be sure to give away this delicious chicken. <laughs> if we have any left. Okay, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. It's simmering. We gotta put the potatoes. <laughs> we gotta put the potatoes in. Alright, and the coriander. Okay? So if you could just zoom in onto that, look how that's looking so far. That is looking amazing. Okay. Not like my mom's food, but looking good enough. All right. Now we're going to add our potatoes. All right. And we've got to add some water. All right. Because it's going to reduce when we put it back in. Normally you'd add about a cup. Yeah. I would say that's okay. Give it a stir just so we can coat everything. All right, so I've got my potatoes. Oh, shit. I've got my broccoli, gotta wash it. Normally I wouldn't make healthy food. I'd probably just go for a chicken burger and fries and yeah, but. Well, you got about eight minutes till your fish is done. Yep. 
And in that time, we yeah. can boil the patatas and the carrots and the broccoli. So, select. Okay, put that one to. Uh, it's meant to be a high fire, right? Wait, you t this is your dish. Alright, so, yeah, this one. I've got to add water. I'm just gonna boil the potatoes about, you know, boiling it. I'm meant to have a lid on it, aren't I? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. This may lot in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Add that as well. I haven't even started my rice. Damn. Damn, yeah. Again, I don't know if it's meant to be right to the top, whether. No, I think that's the one. Carrots and potatoes. Let's put that at high fire as well. Okay, I'm all done. Uh, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, fish is in the oven, chips is in the fryer, and the food well, is boiling on the stove. So, that's pretty much it so far. Okay, so as you can see guys, we've got our rice, so I've put two cups of rice in a bowl and now I'm washing it. So this is the second time I'm washing it. Okay, you have to wash it three times in total before you can let it soak, alright? The reason for this is you want to take out all the starch, okay? Because the last thing you want is starchy rice. <laughs> okay, so now we've washed it three times. I'm going to pour some water in again. And this time we're just going to let the water soak. Rice. Cold water. Oh, in cold water. Okay, my bad. That's okay. Alright, and we're just gonna leave that there for a while. Put the lid on. And we'll let it soak. Okay, guys. So. We've been leaving it here to simmer for quite a while now with the potatoes in. Now the aim is once the potatoes are half cooked or nearly done, that's when you want to add your peas in. So that's what I'm going to do now, okay? Whoa, you can hear that. That is sounding naughty. Alright. So let's add our peas in. We add the peas in last because it doesn't really take a long time for them to cook. But look at that colour, man. Just adding in peas makes such a difference. Look at that. Oh, man. Leave that in for literally a few minutes, no longer than that. And then finally, we would then add the coriander to garnish. Okay? I want to see what the boys are thinking. What are they up to? Alright, so the chicken curry, we've got mows, potatoes, carrots, broccoli. I've never seen so much colour. Uh, in one dish, that's awesome. All right, so whilst the chicken curry is going on, we need to get started on the rice, okay? So the rice, I would always use a one to two ratio. So if it's one part rice, two part water, always remember that, and season, that's the main thing, okay? So um, let's clear that out first. Oh, all. you just reminded me about seasoning. I meant to put it in salt. I got you, bro, I got you. So how much salt do you want? Uh, a pinch, like Salt Bay. You need salt bay when you got V bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got the nice basmati rice right there. Let's get that open. You've got four minutes for your chips to be done. All right. In that time, you can prepare and your. It probably take me about four minutes to open this bloody rice. Twenty minutes later. Okay, so it says. On the instruction manual, it says about 60 grams of rice per person. So if I'm cooking it for about 10 man, about half a kilo. Uh, 10 man, holy crap. I think about 10 people give it a second. No. Yeah, so literally just right here. Yeah. All right. That is. Uh, 
cook. It's always it's always hard to get the right amount of rice. Actually. I'll just put the whole I'll pack in. Look at, I've got so much salt over the pans. I said put a pinch, not a whole handful of salt. Alright, <laughs> right, cool. So let's wash the rice. Always very important. Wash the rice. Wash the rice. Look at that. Oh, cod. Cod is done. Okay, rinse it out. See how much dirt is coming out of that. Always yeah. wash your rice, people. A couple of them just take it out right from the packet, like an Uncle Ben thing. That's not how you do it, mate. None of that <laughs> no, yeah. Alright. Cool. You can wash it many times to keep it pure, but we don't have time for that, yeah? So, so like I said, one part rice. What is it? How many parts of water? Two. Two, good. All Ratio. Right. Best to know. Dunk your finger in there, show that technique. Yeah, just use, so if it's one part rice, two part will come back here. Water's perfect actually. So I'll say pour a little bit out. There we go. Cool. Now in this, what we're gonna do is get the color for the rice. So rice, you know, what's traditional about bouillon is the yellow rice, right? So we're gonna get that into play in just a second. Okay, so remember my mum's cute little pot flower thing. Right, so we're gonna use that. Smell that. Strong. Strong. Turmeric, by the way, is good for like muscle pain as well. So if every time you have muscle pain, what just uh, down a scoop? Yeah, no, down a scoop with some water. Mix it. It's actually oh, really good. Okay, okay. Um, or if you have like a cold or something. You can use that as well. Pretty useful. Yeah. Literally, I'm going to use one heaped teaspoon. Not a teaspoon, whatever this spoon is. Come here, I'll show you. And just put it in there. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, perfect. We've got that. What we're also going to do is something unusual. Actually, my mum told me this. I'm not too sure uh, why she's telling me to do it, but. I'm gonna, just gonna sit there and follow which is butter. We're gonna put some butter in there. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Essex. Um, and we're just gonna put about. How much? I don't know why, but there you go. Alright We've got the butter. Butter normally has a bit of salt in it, unless you're getting unsalted. But nevertheless, always get yourself. Yeah, I don't know what this handful of of <laughs> salt is. Get a bit of salt in there. Get a bit of pepper in there. And so I keep washing your hands. Now, to bring out the smell, okay, we're gonna add. Some, um, oh, uh, chips are ready. Let's turn it off, but leave it in there. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, okay, awesome. So, a um, couple of ingredients I'm going to use is star anise. Okay, star anise, um, it's you don't eat it, but it brings out the smell, it brings out the flavor. <laughs> um, oh, where is my, where is my knife? Yep, we're just using a really large butcher knife to open. Fuck it. I ain't got time for this shit. Alright, so we're gonna put about, I'd say about five or six stars. Come on, I'll show you how it looks as well. Once I get to know how to open this thing. Right, here's some sazzling and sizzling it's and. Salt, look at that. Yeah, it's burning. Oh. Alright, so look. These salt, uh, these stars, sorry, I'm gonna put in just like that. And the, the cool thing about this is this will rise to the top. Yeah? And then you can literally just pick out these stars. Yeah? Stars, right there. We're also gonna put some cinnamon in there as well. Okay? Um, again, don't know why my mom told me to do it, so. Is it because you, could, you didn't have cardamom? 
Oh yeah! Um, and it smells really nice and uh, really good for uh, diabetics as well. It's um, obviously not scientifically proven, but you know, in the Asian cultures, it's, it's very popular. Oh, Use the herbal medicine when you can. Yeah. So look, I'm just gonna literally just break it in there. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. About about two sticks. One, two, and we're also. Do you want to see my mom's um, uh, spice thingy? Spice tray. All right, go on then. Oh my god, <laughs> you got everything in there. Trust me, man. Enough to start a shop. We are gonna also put, uh, if I had it, uh, some bay leaves, uh, which I don't know what it is. This is your ah, house. Here we go. Wow. Babies. What a pick. Yeah. Literally, I'm going to put about two or three. That's looking amazing so far. Boom, boom. All right. These will all rise to the top, so don't necessarily worry too much about um, it not. All right. So we're going to get this cooking. Boom. All right. Okay. And we want to also make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the. Okay. Hold on. What are you looking for? Always make sure the bottom is not wet. Yeah, so right now this part is wet. Alright, so we're gonna also try that. But look at look at this, look at this com mixture. It looks amazing. Alright. And it smells <sighs> fucking delightful. Cool. Really had to sweat, didn't you? Yeah. Alright. Cool. Alright, this we're gonna cook for about 10. 10 to 12 minutes, okay? Uh, and that, what it will do, the, the one to two ratio, for those of you who haven't actually cooked, uh, that rice will just double up, yeah? And just becomes a lot more fluffier, smells a lot more nicer. The butter will just uh, allow that to be a lot more smoother as well, I think. Um, again, say anything with confidence, people believe it. Cool, let's see how this is getting on. Oh my days, look at this. Oh yes. This is smelling as well, it smells amazing. <laughs> this is rice. Haven right here. Yeah, man. Just chicken, chicken. All right, what's going chicken. on? We've got your cod in there. The yeah. chips is done. The chips is done. The cod right. is ready. So, what I'm going to do, so once it's cooked for about 25 minutes, I've, I've left it on there for about 30 minutes under very low heat. Uh, we're going to mix it properly. So just make sure all the herbs from the bottom come up to the top as well. Um, and then we're going to close it again and leave it be, okay? So again, come up from the top. I can't, sorry, come up from the bottom to the top, yeah? There we go, look at that. Alright guys, so I'm letting the put yeah the potatoes and the yeah the potatoes, I was gonna say the 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 potatoes. <laughs> you you said broccoli and I was, I was trying to say broccoli and potatoes all at once. <laughs> Sorry, it's late. But um as far as I know, come here. Um I meant to um stab the uh <laughs> potatoes. With, uh, with a fork to see how tender they are. Obviously right now it's a bit stiff, so it's not exactly right at this moment in time, but you gotta leave it in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you're meant to stir it or steer it, whatever the English term is. <laughs> stir. Stir. Steer is stir. When you're driving, yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah, I remember that from <laughs> primary school. <laughs> but yeah, right now they're not so ready. I don't know what to do with a broccoli. I don't know if it's meant to be cooking like this, so please do not rinse me in the comment section because we're just yeah we're just starting out today. But yeah, not much salt in there, ladies and gents. That's not my fault. That's my <laughs> fault. I was gonna do a you know just a pinch. Why decides to yeah yeet it <laughs> into the, just whip <laughs> into the the whole mixture. But yeah, again I don't even know if I'm meant to be putting carrots and potatoes in one little pot to to boil, but. We're out of time, we're out of pots, so typical free man abroad fashion, we're out of everything and we're just trying to improvise at this point, so yeah. Okay, now we've let the peas cook for literally a few minutes to simmer, and now we are going to add, sorry, our coriander to garnish. Now it may look a bit, uh, it may look like quite a lot right now, but once it's mixed in with the food, 
It will look good. And there you go. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to plate this up. And that's it. Done. Okay, guys. So, we've let the rice soak for a while. Now we need to drain the water and actually cook the rice, okay? So, let's get this drained out. Oops. So now, rule of thumb, for every one cup of rice, we have two cups of water, okay? So, one, Two, three, four. Okay. Now we're gonna put this on the hob now, and it's simple. So we put it on the hob at very high heat. Once we start to see a bubble, oh, switch the gas off. <laughs> Okay, so we put it on the hob for, on very high heat. Once we start to see it bubble, then we're going to put the cover on and we will leave it for 10 minutes on low heat. Oh, my back, my chest, <laughs> my back and my chest, my <laughs> knees, my legs. Um, nah, I'm destroyed. Um, we've been at this close to about two hours now. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's the time's gone forward an hour today, so um, it's... Not been, it's not been the same, but nevertheless, we're waiting. We're almost done. We, we're close to the finish line. Mo, well, Mo, Mo's been done like 20 minutes ago. Like <laughs> fish, chips, done. done. You know, <laughs> just the veggies cooking, just to add a little bit of spice in there. Um, whereas me, like, I've got the rice cooking. Chicken curry is, oh, chicken, sorry. And let me have a quick look at the chicken curry. Yeah. Funny, when I, when I went to the bathroom, my mom said, don't forget to add salt. So, um, even though the curry powder does have salt, I don't know what's... More salt. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll Yeah, I don't know what you're doing with your salt, bro. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. So let's mix that in there. Right, let's have a look at this. It's just smelling beautiful right now. Okay, and all sorts of colors and flavors and... Alright, so let's just turn that on. Let it simmer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let it simmer because then the, the rice will be about another. Uh, let's have a look. Come here. So, rice. It's cooking. Very nice. <laughs> See the leaves and the star and it's all come up on top. So, it smells beautiful as well. The potatoes are looking. Well, before it was very stiff to get into, now it's a lot more easier for the fork to, to seep through. That's the only way I know is the potatoes are going to be a lot more tender and stuff. So again, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going with my gut and I'm hoping everything turns out well. With the broccoli, it's looking kind of falling apart actually. So I think I should turn that off. Oh, that's uh, good. Let's uh, turn that off. Yeah, I, I think I've overdone it with the broccoli. <laughs> um, I mean, it kind of looks ready to me uh, again i don't know God, no, don't no, know. i think that's good i think um rinse it out because i need it for the eggs in it so yeah but i'll need to leave it to to chill for like two minutes and stuff yeah that's it. so yeah i'll wait for this to cool off and yeah. then empty it and then leave it there and then go from there again i don't know if i'm meant to put this much water <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember my dad doing this so yeah boy Never mind, anywho, so we're just going with what we're going for. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how Bai's curry and rice is coming along. Yeah, open the. Just open it a little bit. And you see? Look at that. Ooh, very yellow. The rice is coming out. Okay, we're gonna mix that. Uh, so, where is the. Okay, do me a favor, just, uh, just open this for me. I'm just gonna mix yeah. it around. Look at that. Very yeah. sauce. Alright, we're gonna leave it be. Because it'll automatically flick our eggs anyway. Yeah. Oh, by the way, with the eggs, um, I was meant to put eggs in the um, 
with my dish, but I thought, no, screw it. Uh, Vi's gonna put egg in his biryani anyway, so it, it really doesn't matter. So uh, we've got a very easy, <laughs> covered up <laughs> fish and chips, glorified fish and chips, I'd call it, but I don't care. It's a first attempt, it's a first try. It's called bacalao, so <laughs> it, it's, it's Portuguese to me, so yeah, even though it's not. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the amount of bubbles you want to be seeing across here, all around. This is the amount of bubbles you want to see before you put your cover on and you let it go. So 10 minutes from now, we will switch it off. But firstly, we've got to lower the heat. There you go. All right, so update, eggs, all right. so. Uh, to make the process a lot more faster and obviously more efficient, uh, boil the water first uh, and just stick it in there. All right, we've got the pan on there, medium to high heat. Okay, I think that should be about enough. Okay, and we're going to boil about four eggs, let's say, uh, one for everyone. Um, quick tip: if you don't want to put the egg in there and just you know, fear that the boiling water is going to get you easy. Just put it on a spoon, like so, boom, and lay it down. Okay. Same thing again. Boom. All right. And where are you going? Three Small. eggs. No, four. Well done. There we go. All right, now quick tip with this here. Also, um, also add salt to that as well. Uh, simply because uh, that way, when you peel off the, the skin, the outer layer, it, it comes off a lot more easier, okay? All right, awesome. Now, that's done. Rice. This is looking amazing. Come here, let me show you. Right there. This is what we've been hoping for. Okay, that yellow rice has turned amazing. So we're just gonna mix that around. All right. Perfect. It's come out nice and fluffy. Smells amazing. All right, now the next step is the final step. We're gonna layer it, okay? So we're gonna transfer all of the curry to uh, the, the wok, temporary or big pan, okay? Uh, right there. That's a lot of chicken. Yeah. That's enough chicken to like. Feed <laughs> a family for a week. Basically, yeah. If I don't know his limits, man just saw chicken and it's like, yes. <laughs> How much? Yes. yes. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, what we're gonna do? Uh, low to medium heat, okay? Now we're gonna layer it. This is the final process, so get ready. Okay, uh, I think you've put a bit too much chicken in the, in the mix. It's never too much chicken, bro. It's never too much chicken. Usually you're meant to have more rice than chicken on the ratio, but Vi has clearly just said no. Vi's chicken biryani is going to have all the chicken and little rice. Thank you, Leo. Alright. That's going to be interesting. Alright. Do you want to take out the spoon? No, because I need to put it in there. I need to put it up, oh, Jesus, Easy. Alright. This is why I use oven mitts. Don't, don't do this at home, people. No, don't do this at home. Use oven mitts. Alright. Be very smart when it comes to cooking. So you're going to put half the rice on the bottom. Alright. Okay. the boiled water in the broccoli for a bit too long and 
think there's a bit of uh, what's the name of it? A bit too much, uh, yeah. Like leftovers. Would you call it leftovers? For what? Like you can see on the sides, like here and stuff. Residue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we've left a bit too much. It's so, fine. Uh, I think it looks all right. Yeah. So we'll leave that there. That's turning off. This thing here, I need a fork. Where's my fork? It's much easier to get into the potatoes now. I think I, I'm not supposed to put the carrots and the uh, what's it called and the and the potatoes together, but moldy and mo. This is just the way out. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. reduce my one. I'm gonna turn it again. I believe that's been coming in. Oh, no, no. Turn that baby off. I'm going to be very smart and drain the water. Oh, easy. I don't want to drop my potatoes because well, that water is boiling. So, uh, let me help you out. There you go. First of all, where's the camera shine? <laughs> right, don't worry. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mo B and Mo. That's mixed in with some chicken biryani as well, so <laughs> why not? Yeah. Oh no, that's just You know what? You know what just leave the water in. Just leave, just leave it as it is. Yeah, that's great. There's, there's enough in there. So I'll leave that as it is. I need a lid. What are you gonna do with the potatoes? These ones. I'm gonna oh sorry, I was meant to I was meant to fold them out, but yeah. There's, me there's methods to, to my madness, okay, so... <laughs> I'm still waiting to see the method. If this, if this isn't a method, I don't know what is, bro. Again, first attempt, I don't even think the potatoes are uh, worthy, so... I think I've flopped on that part there. Uh, yeah, and I'm meant to put something on like that. Your broccoli is done, right? Huh? Your broccoli's done? Uh, I meant to leave it on for two minutes to... Oh, to cool down? Yeah, cool oh. down. But, yeah, that's potatoes and a broccoli done. They, they've been done for a long time, so I should have left that last. I think maybe heat it up ever so slightly, I think two, three minutes. Yeah, I think I'll leave that to a little bit later and we'll have to wait for five eggs to No, be. is it time to plate? Because if it's time to plate, bro, let's go. Well, it's not time to plate yet. Wait, we've got more things to do? No. But you got the eggs to finish. Yeah, it's time to play for you, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we gotta leave it for a few minutes anyway, so Say no. once it's done, yeah, mm. I'll play the I'll put everything together and make it look somewhat presentable. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we've let it rest for 10 minutes after switching it off from low heat. And this is oh, this is a bit hot actually. Let's get a towel. Oh look at that. Let me just get a fork and I'll break this up. You see that? That is what I call fluffy rice, mate. So what we're going to do now is plate it up and then eat. Eggs done. Right there. Just going to crack it and we're good to go. Rice. Let's go. Looking, smelling, all kinds of amazing. All right. So we've got to get fresh. Just. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> What's that wave stuff coming out of the egg? The egg? Yeah. yeah. It's egg. Oh. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. What else can we do? <laughs> Raggy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
All right, so let's get this in a in a bowl, and then uh, yeah, perfect. And I will show you the final product in just a sec. So guys, as you can see, the final product. I'd be, I, you know what, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I don't think this is a bad attempt at making a ladoub, okay? And plates hot, fresh cooked, ain't nothing but to try it, okay? So, gotta get a bit of this sauce, a bit of, a bit of chicken. Oof, oof. Now, let me show you some of that chicken. Look, look at that. That is cooked. Cooked. All right. Get a bit of that, bit of that potato. Come on, man. Not trying to burn my tongue now. Hmm. Nowhere near it, like my mum's food, but uh, we'll get there. <laughs> but that's still banging, you know, for a first attempt. I'm really proud of myself. But now I gotta demolish this because you know how I roll. So I'm gonna eat this. You guys go check on what the boys are doing. Peace. All right. After four and a half hours, <laughs> probably a record for a biryani and cod and chips. Uh, we're finally here after a kilo and a half of chicken and this is the end product. I decided to put like a, a little broccoli in there just to add a bit of colour pop. Because um, normally, the other thing I've actually forgot because I just you know, uh, went out of my memory, uh, carrots. So you can, uh, whilst you're cooking the curry, chop the carrots, put it in there. That also adds a bit of colour to it. Um, end result. Not bad, not as good as my mum's. Um, Obviously I'll not. Tell you, I'll tell you that much, but the the chicken came out really well. I think that's the main part. Yeah, because you spent most of the time cooking the chicken. I'm curious to hear yours. Do you mind if I try something else? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. All right. So a traditional cod or bacalao. Bacalao. Yeah, with some chips. The cod turned out really well. That's good news. The chips? Not so much. I'll leave it down to you. <laughs> no, I'm right. not surprised. Oh. Mm. The broccoli. Yeah, not good. I don't want to say it's not good because you tried really hard. I but just it's boiled it. it. <laughs> it's mush. Yeah, I What's figured. Yeah, yeah, I figured, yeah. It didn't, look, right? it didn't look that good. Truthfully, right? the cod is actually not too bad. That's well, you know, obviously that's, that's you just put it in the oven. Yeah. That's the start of the dish. So <laughs> I'll yeah. give you that. Cool. I'm curious to see how you uh, like my dish. All so right. give me that. Let me um, let me get it to you. Okay. My turn. All right. Where's that lemon? So first things first. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I I would use the lemon on the cod just to you know just to add a bit a little, little bit of spice. Um, <laughs> Let me add a little bit of spice to that. And yeah, just put it anywhere really. Uh, add just you know a tad bit of you know olive oil onto the um, onto the uh, potatoes. And this, the the icing of the cake. So I would, normally in Portugal when when I do have the traditional bacalao and potatoes and you know uh, boiled vegetables and stuff, we would have a drink called brisa or brisa. It's a passion fruit fizzy drink, but over here it's a bit hard to get. So instead of that, I just opted for a tropical Rio. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh man, we have a, a drink in our country. Um, yeah, they have a here called Necto. Necto, Necto oh, is of Necto. so yeah. dope. I wish I could have got that. All right, we'll go from bad to worse. Let's try the um, broccoli. I can tell it yeah. doesn't look that great. It made you can tell it just like, crumbles in your mouth, which yeah. is not a good sign. 
Just look at this burnt out chip. <laughs> the dried out chip. That would be amazing with some mayo. Mm. Just so. Again, not that great, but first attempt. What can you, what can I say really? The cod, let's try the cod. Yeah, that, I really like that. I gotta say. <laughs> right, let's just see that in there. Mm. Yeah, the cod's really nice. Cod's amazing. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Let's try, uh, let's try a bit of the potatoes. Ooh, that, that cut pretty nicely. Smooth. What do you think? It's not as tender as you, as like when I when I cut it. it oh, you had a create, you had an expectation as soon yeah, as you cut, you thought smooth. But yeah, but when I put it in my mouth, it's a bit more. Um, it's not as tender. It's still a bit like hard, but it's not crunchy, which is a good sign. Yeah. So potatoes, I'll probably give that like a four out of ten. <laughs> Broccoli, one out of ten. The chips, maybe. Uh, Nah, I'll, I'll give it like a four. The... Why are you being too harsh, man? And oh, it's my first day. Well, chips, chips is not bad. It's a good six, I'd say. Nah, 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 nah. No, don't, no. It's all right. All right, let's try the carrot now. Yeah. <laughs> is your teeth okay? <laughs> you heard the crunch up there. So it's not as crunchy, but it's... It's still a bit crunchy, yeah. so I clearly it doesn't boil it properly. So um, again, I think I shouldn't have put the broccoli and the sorry the potatoes and the carrots all in one pot. But yeah. lesson that for next time. Be more prepared. <laughs> we say this all the time, but we never. I know for real. What about the biryani though? Oh, yeah, I need to try the biryani. Yeah. Go for it. The chicken. Moment of truth. Spicy. <laughs> I can taste the curry powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put quite, quite a lot. Quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not it's not bad, but it's not great. It's okay. <laughs> you? No, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's no, okay. no, no, it took. In terms of like, um, it's a little chewy. Yeah. It's a bit hard to describe because normally when you eat the chicken, it's quite like soft. Yeah. As opposed to like you know what we're like what mum cooks, what dad cooks, whatever it is, it's, it's really soft and easy to eat. But yeah. this one is just you gotta sink your teeth in just a little bit more yeah. to kind of get it out. Let me try a bit of the rice. Yeah, go for it. The rice and a bit of it. That is chicken. What's funny is I put a lot of spice into that chicken and into the rice. Yeah, I can taste it. Mm. Yeah. Again, nothing I can't handle. Oh, hang on. It kicked ah, in. It kicked in there. Wait a bit. Talking a bit too soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the cheeks are going to be red in a second. <laughs> if it hasn't already, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's actually okay. It's, it's how I thought it would. Uh, Sri Lankan chicken biryani would be lots of spice, lots of curry and powder and all sorts, but right. yeah. For first attempt, by right, you smashed it out of the park. Not bad. Yeah. So what out of ten? What would you give it? Um, probably like um, a six. I'd give you a solid six. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. My dish? No, that, that's that, <laughs> that's out of the park. I'd give it like a three. No, I'll give it a solid six as well. The, the, the cod, cod is what it. makes it. The, the yeah. six. Everything else is what crumbles. Yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it, even though it did take quite a very, very long time to do. Four hours yeah. late. So much so everyone in the house is actually asleep. It's about quarter to, well, quarter past midnight now. Um, so if you liked it, smash that thumbs up button. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell so you guys get to know when our next video uploads. Yeah, and more importantly, comment down below what other video ideas you wanna see and we'll try and make that happen, all right? So if, if it's us doing the outro or Shaq doing the outro, no idea, no communication whatsoever. <laughs> but take care guys, hope you stay safe. And, and peace. peace.